Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Styles starting as the pink Protoss. Nice alliteration. Upper left-hand corner, we have Art of Turtle as kind of the peach Zerg. I just wanted to make it peep to rhyme with pink, more like a skin tone. The kind of a disturbing color of Zerg, actually, if it was like a human flesh color, like you see a human flesh colored Hydralis coming at you. They're disturbing as it is, but anyway. This is on Metaverse, one of those more macro-oriented maps, and I'm gonna have to favor Art of Turtle style on this. Whoever wins this is going to move on to the final match to see who advances out of this bracket. Whoever loses is eliminated. I do believe this is still, this is best of one. And both these guys, yeah, pretty strong players. I could see Styles pulling it out. It's been a fun group thus far. Kind of like seeing Flying and his more aggressive action there. And are we going to see... So Pylon on the low ground. Probe with his Trophy Minerals in hand. I have a feeling it's going to be a Forge opener. Which I think makes more sense, especially on these four-player maps. Art of Turtle, I would not be shocked at to see him go for a 12 hatch because it, it's one thing you can pull off as Zerg on a 12 player map, but it looks like instead it is going to be Overpool. Art of Turtle, he just keeps getting better and better. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't be shocked to see him really pick it up in a season or two. Looks like we are gonna see a Forge opener. Probe is gonna go for the Clockwise Scout, or sorry, Counterclockwise Scout, so he's gonna come across Art of Turtle's base. This is cross spawns. And I think with cross spawns on Metaverse, it's a little bit easier to negate some of that 973 action. I'm almost wondering if Art of Turtle will opt just for the three hatch Muta opener. Even though the natural expansion, there's a lot of area you can do some harassment in, but it's rare where you can get on top of the probe line. Preventative cannon, just in case. Looks like we're probably just going to see the two Zerglings. Yeah, just two Zerglings being built for Art of Turtle. Well, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, just two Zerglings in the drone. Did manage to get that natural expansion up without any delay. The mini-map, it's going to be hard to tell who's who, because these colors are very, very close. Unfortunately, I can't color swap, because that puts everybody yellow. Because they didn't do uh, top versus bottom. But Probe Scout taking some damage immediately. And a Nexus behind this for Styles. He can go ahead and drop that gateway and feel comfortable. Drone, I think, able yeah, to confirm. Saw the cannon. Not taking damage. Going to go ahead and back out from here. And the probe actually getting pushed back. Art of, Art of Turtle very quickly grabbing his third. Very little confirmed. Styles looks like he is going to be able to maybe wander up and confirm that third. Currently, he's trying to juke those Zerglings as best he can. But yeah, you really do need to keep that early Probe Scout alive, and I like this timing here. I know it's not an intentional timing, but having the drone make it back to the main... Well, never mind, just a little bit too early. Spoke too soon. You know who I blame for this? I blame Bob's guns for being a distracting store in the background. Also, why... Bob's guns is right here. Why aren't they just going into Bob's guns and trading minerals for guns? Doing, Trying to do everything themselves. Looks like we are seeing a layer being upgraded for three hatch mutals play. Styles able to confirm it. Is there Bob's guns over here? That might be like a an advantage on this map. Yeah, there's no Bob's guns over here. So technically Art of Turtle should just be able to go in there, buy some weapons. Arm his Hydralisks. Take down the front. Why don't they just do that? Or is Bob's Guns just a trash weapon store? Cybernetic score warping in the background. Handful of Zelts on the front. Zelt looks like actually wants to march out. Overlord is going to spot it, which should provoke a Zergling or two to be created. Although, did Art of Turtle see it? Doesn't look like he... Well, maybe he saw it. He's got a single Zergling tracking this Zealot. Maybe trying to build it at the latest possible moment. Yeah, he's building some Zerglings to potentially deal with this. Unfortunately, they're being built at the main. So it's going to be a while before they can make it to defend this third. And I, maybe that Zergling was just trying to harass that Zelt to keep it away from the third. So actually kind of a nice little latent defense. Making sure that Art of Styles knew that he knew the Zelt was there. So that it didn't try to make a dive in that third. 
for any economic disruption. Overlord going to sacrifice its life to confirm the Stargate. Spire also morphing. Plus one weapons being upgraded. This is becoming the new meta. Plus one weapons to the five Corsair. Zerglings marching their way towards the front just to seal. I like this play from Art of Turtle because it's going to be able to allow him to see. Never mind. I don't like this play. Shooting the gap, although it might pay off. Five Zerglings, four Zerglings able to get in the main. So Corsair is going to be able to get potentially a kill, but two probes already wiped out and critically gas mining probes. And the Zealots being forced back to deal with these Zerglings marching around here. Overlord down, but looks like Art of Turtle already had some Overlords to compensate for that. Two Corsairs now making their way out on the map, but this is... I'm not sure if I want to say this is forcing a cannon. I think this cannon is here to provide some extra defense, but if these Zerglings stay alive and a bunch of Mutalisks join them, potentially that could be very scary combo at the main. Five hatch, interesting. Five hatch Muta, it looks like. I kind of like this decision from Art of Turtle to opt for this uh, style of play. He does need to get some more Scourge in the air and hopefully knock down some of these Corsair. Might turn into five hatch Hydra, but seeing that the Zealots were basically pinned back and not really getting aggressive on the front, knowing that these Zerglings could be a bit of a threat. He's going less of a SimCity, just saving some money on defense and trying to play from there. Getting some more economic disruption, just a single Zergling doing this too. Although it looks like that he's going to let a Battle Probe with some gas in hand able to get the kill. Corsair count at 5, plus 1 weapons, just about finished. So they'll want to start cycling out. 5 Hatch Hydra, pretty strong against those Corsairs. In the mid-game, it looks like a decent SimCity at the 3rd. Probably going to morph at Sun Colony. But right now, Art of Turtle, slightly behind economically. But has done a really good job of creating a lot of disruption in Styles' base. We'll see, will Styles, is he going to go for, it looks like he is going to go for potentially Dark Templar. He's got that second gas up and running. Let's see if he does, in fact, produce Dark Templar as soon as that's online. But he really hasn't made any pushes out towards Art of Turtle. Single Mutalisk right there. Looking for additional Mutalisks. It's kind of unusual to just build a Mutalisk. A Mutalisk. As far as, like, a, they're, they're the rest of them. Unfortunately, they're going to run into these five Corsair with plus one weapons pretty rapidly. There need to be more Scourge. Usually more Scourge to help support this. These Mutalisks would get shredded in this engagement. That's going to leave Overlords very exposed. So one Overlord down. And honestly, several more probably going to get taken out. Now the Scourge, looking to join to support, they are able to land on one Corsair. But that's not enough otherwise. So Art of Turtle now bleeding troops. Finally, some mutil or some Hydralisks able to provide some support. But a lot of damage done there. That was 300 resources in Overlords. And the Mutalisks really got nothing. Forced additional Scourge to be built. Not enough Hydralisks to help defend. And now the Dark Templar making its way across. See if he can go for a turnaround. The I like what Art Turtle's doing though. He's roving up with a potential attack between the Scourge and Mutalisk, but he's going to keep the Corsair back, which is, means this Dark Templar isn't going to have the support. Ooh, High Templar picked off. That's a lot of gas. Which means the Corsairs can't be on the front to go ahead and wipe out Overlords. So the Dark Templar just going to hang out to go ahead and potentially knock down what would be a fourth if Art of Turtle was going for it. Art of Turtle's economy looking decently solid. Getting those Hydralis upgrades. Plus one weapons coming online shortly. Some High Templar filtering in, but these Mutalists got one and two. A lot of Scourge being wiped out, though. Which means these Corsairs are now opened up to start roaming across this field. That might open up this Dark Templar in a minute. So air control in Styles' favor. Looks like he's going to go ahead and get an Overlord kill while he can. 
And yeah, joining with that Dark Templar, able to get some kills. Mutilus trying to engage. There are a huge amount of Hydralisks here, however. So with this grouping of Hydralisks, these Corsairs going to go ahead and back out. So nice defense from Art of Turtle. Does he have Overlord Speed is the next question. I think he does. No, he does not. That is actually going to hurt. More Overlords getting picked off. But Art of Turtle pulling the trigger, moving towards the front, knowing that he's picked off several High Templar. However, it looks like there's at least two Size two size Storms to provide some defense. But I don't know that Styles has enough bulk to push this army back. Plus one weapons, the Zealots somewhat out of position, and these Mutalists can still dive and pick High Templar off. Which one down without a Size Storm, two picked off that managed to land the Size Storm. There's only one remaining. And this is a huge amount of Hydralisks at the natural. The Zealots getting boxed in by their own SimCity. And that might be GG. Art of Turtle, yes, can't even build additional troops. But has an overwhelming troop count to breach the natural now. The High Templar got one storm, one storm off. And Styles now going to lose his natural expansion. I guess a little bit of a bonus, that High Templar being picked off as well. This was just a High Templar killing field. Corsair is waiting for Overlords to spawn so they can wipe them out, but doesn't make a difference when you have this many Hydralists sitting inside your base. Art of Turtle overproducing Overlords that are immediately getting wiped out so he can filter in more army. Gateways unpowered. He's actually leaving a few Hydralists back and yeah, getting on top of the gateways. More pylons being dropped because a lot of these gateways are now unpowered. And Art of Turtle with that maneuver, I believe, has won the game. Waiting for Styles to GG. Styles potentially a bit frustrated here. There's the GG. Well played by Art of Turtle. He will move on to the final match. Styles being eliminated this season. Hope to see him next season. Overall, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.